This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Cupper1214. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. How are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are... Ow! Millie, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a good Monday if you're not. Well, it's about to ramp up because we're gonna review some fish tanks and I have a feeling the first one is gonna blow you out of the water. So let's go. Without further ado, fish tank review. This package has been sitting here for about two and a half days now. I feel like I should do something. What do I do? It's got live fish in it and it's been sitting for two and a half days. Good news is, depending on the fish that's in there, they should be okay. Bad news is, they could really be dead by now. Especially if they're sensitive fish, you would be dead. No question about it, bro. No question about it. I'm very curious what's in here and how the situation was dealt with. Who in their right mind would order fish and just leave it? Unless it's the wrong address. I would still probably inquire with the company. Update. Let's go. It's one beautiful shiny light orange koi. About six inches. That's average, right? We'll take pictures once I get in the tank. And the address was for a completely different building. Okay. No wonder it's been sitting there so long. I'm trying to contact the company to see if they'll track down the person who ordered it. Very smart. That is the way to go. Setting up his temporary home now. It's gonna be 10 gallons, so he can't stay here for long. I'm so glad he's alive. Thanks for the encouragement. I'm glad I saved a fish. Thank you. You are the hero we didn't know we needed. This is such a wholesome story. Five out of five so far. This is the fish. Apparently it's being floated in this guy's female beta sorority tank. I'm a little bit confused with what I'm seeing here. It is very discolored. It's got some scale damage potentially and it's looking rather sad. One thing that OP should know is to not open the bag and then acclimate the fish, especially since the fish has been sitting in the bag for a while, especially for koi, because that water is going to explode in ammonia. It's a reaction that happens with oxygen. Pro tip guys, when you're acclimating fish that's been sitting in a bag for a while, don't cut it open first. Cut it open only when you're ready to put the fish in immediately. Well, it is a federal crime to open someone's mail. So the answer is you don't open people's mail. That is true. I didn't think of that, actually. <laughs> OP is one brave cookie. Although, I would definitely be in trouble, too, because I wouldn't have thought of that. If there is something that is obviously living that is in danger, F the laws, life is important. See, that is kind of my perspective there, too. You're not really going out of your way to steal something. You're just, I mean, it's been there for two and a half days. I'm pretty sure the owner and the company would probably like it and avoid suing you if you helped unless they're really just the scum of the earth yes exactly if there is someone drowning and there's a sign that says no swimming do you obey that sign or jump in and save them why are we in existential crisis morality debate mode that escalated quickly what would you guys do leave a comment down below i would save the person except i don't really know how to swim does doggy paddle count because i'm pretty pro at doggy paddling yeah that's what me hesitate at first but i also assumed it was food at first huh because who would order a live fish and not bother bringing at home. This comment kind of confused me because if OP thinks it's food, then why Why would you take it? <laughs> so OP was actually trying to steal the package, but then did a good thing because it wasn't food and it was actually live animals? What? <laughs> I'm on to you, OP. FedEx lost my live gecko, but he ended up getting to me safely. I was so worried though. This fish's owner is gonna love you. Yeah, that's what I think. Who's gonna be on someone's ass for saving their order? Like if I order some fish and it got lost, I would hope they do something like this for my Fish. But if I order some food and it got lost, I hope OP doesn't end up with that. Friggin' food thief over here. Do not open the bag and add water. Once it's temperature acclimated, cut the bag and grab the fish ASAP. Ammonia will spike as soon as oxygen is added to the bag. Yes, this is what I was talking about. I like that this is all caps because of urgency. Like, you need to see this, okay? You don't want to kill the fish. Scrodinger's fish. Is it dead? Is it alive? I don't know until I open the bag. Here's a video of it. It's straight up loving this 10 gallon. Definitely a lot of space, more space than that bag, and it looks looks properly acclimated. OP did a fantastic job. The fish is already looking like it's coloring up. That is a beautiful yellow orange tinge to it. I wonder if this is like an expensive fish. It is still very much a juvenile, so it can stay in a 10 gallon, no problem. It is a temporary holding tank, of course. So five out of five, keep it up. And this is probably the most updated picture. And this fish is gorgeous. I actually don't think there is scale damage, at least not on this side of the body. They found the owner through the cellar and the fish is now home. We've gone full cycle. What a wholesome moment. Yes, Millie, this is what I've been waiting for. This was all about. This story stayed five out of five all throughout. It was a little bit weird with the food stealing, but maybe I misunderstood that. What would you guys have done? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys there. A hey, quick pause, guys. That's right. That is me trying to make a career in rap. Please help me stop this madness. You know how hard it is these days to get a job at McDonald's? Hard. 
to stop this madness, please consider supporting me on Patreon, especially if you enjoy my weekly content. You also get amazing perks, access to the fishkeeping discord, where a thousand plus fish keepers come together to measure their peepees, I mean, to measure their coolie lochis, and you might even meet our awesome mods Big Ben and Fu- I mean Duck. My raps are obviously too strong, so please help save the world and end my rap career by supporting me on Patreon. Remo sent in this shrimp paludarium and is looking crazy. I gotta get me one of these oddly shaped tanks that's open concept. I love it, but I bet the water evaporates pretty fast, especially because I have a dry room. But this is beautiful. You got the natural, very natural background. I don't know how you made it, but it fits perfectly in this shape. How did you get that happening? I don't know if that's enough water for shrimp. I'm not exactly sure how big this tank is, but it doesn't look that big and it's not even halfway filled. You know, shrimp can't just go in like a tiny bit of water either. They have a bit of standards that you have to adhere to. But I think I do see a waterfall. There's water movement. That means it's kind of filtered. That's a plus for me. I think husbandry is there. 4.5 out of 5. Keep it up. Looking to trade. Blue Akara. He's 6 inches long. That's average, right? And pretty fat. <laughs> Tafe gay, bro. Needing to break up my breeding pair so they stop hogging up half the tank. Looking for geophagus or severums. Oh, that took me a minute. I was like, why is Dazia highlighting this picture? What is the problem here, guys? What do you see? This shouldn't have taken me as long as it did. This fish is out of water. This They put this fish on the ground just to take a picture of it. That is crazy, dog. That is some crazy human behavior. Y'all need to stop. Y'all doing too much here. This is not it. I would not support the sale of someone who takes their fish out of the water, plops it on the ground just to take a picture to sell it. That's some degenerate behavior. Zero out of five. This tank is sent in by Saw Goodman. <laughs> have you guys watched Better Call Saul? I don't know if it's better than Breaking Bad, as some people say, but it's definitely pretty good. I binged Breaking Bad in like a week, less than a week, and I binged Better Call Saul also in less than a week. They've got Rocket Killifish and Blue Velvet Shrimp. Saul Good, man. It's a 13 year old. So this was Saul Goodman's childhood. Who knew he was a freshwater fish keeper? The substrate looks like uh, aqua soil, but aqua soil from Alibaba. Correct me if I'm wrong. I hope that's still doing work for you because I mean, these plants are looking pretty healthy. The husbandry is on point. I love the choice of Rocket Killies. They don't get that big. You can see one up in the corner there. And the shrimp too. Awesome. 4.65 out of 5. Keep it up, Slippin' Jim. Tip for keeping water change temp close to the tank's temp. Use a meat thermometer. Okay, this is genius. Look at that. Just make sure to carefully wash the meat thermometer and make sure that there's you're not using soap to wash it. Other than that, go for it, man. I usually just use my fingers because I've done so many water changes. I feel like I, I have experience to be able to tell. But if you're not sure, like this is much better of an idea. And it doesn't really interrupt the flow of your water change work. Five out of five idea. Keep it up. What a genius five head play here. A guy sold fish to kept in touch with me and showed me his big tank. What did he stock it with? Well, that's a rad setup. Thank you. It always starts good. And then you find out what they're stocked with and you're like, you know that monkey meme? What's it stocked with? Three turtles, <laughs> three crabs, blue lobster, one regular crawfish. I would like to see an irregular crawfish, please. And a bunch of fish, a bunch of fish. That's how you know this person's got good stocking choice when they clump fish as a bunch of fish. Also one ghost shrimp. Okay, really? You don't have any issues with a lobster, crawfish, or turtles fighting or being aggressive? I like how Opie's not pulling any punches here with the okay, really. Two convicts, tiger Oscar, angelfish, standard black. Bro was not done. Don't interrupt him. <laughs> Excuse me. That is an extensive list. Why did you think bro was done, huh? Did he stutter? Did he say he was finished? Did he say you could talk? There's a red tail. Okay, I'm I'm done. Peace. This tank is sent in by Nicole. There is no description. I don't know what it's stocked with. From the looks of it, I can't really see what it's stocked with. I think maybe it's not stocked yet. Maybe it's a new tank. I do like the woodscape here. You kind of made them into like finer roots. That's really cool. Uh, what is your secret of keeping these wood not floating? Did you use super glue? What did you do? Let me know. Nice clean substrate. No poop on it yet because there's no stocking. Hopefully you don't stock it with a red tail and a bunch of fish and three turtles. As long as you don't do that, I think we're golden. 4.35 out of 5. Keep it up. One of these things is not like the others. Ah, the rabbit. One of the fastest gastropods, indeed. Are you faster than a gastropod, Millie? Shrimp sent in this 6-gallon fluval stratum, 15 red cherry shrimp, and nicrolite. Let's go. Represent. Why do I like nicrolite so much? Well, I use most nicrolites on all my tanks and and, you know, I haven't replaced any of them since I started this hobby. That's actually kind of crazy. Wow. Saying that out loud, I just realized I haven't had to replace any nicrolites. And I use like one, two, three, four, 
five, confirmed six, might be more. I love that you just got the aquascape tools laid out as well, doing work. Got a gerarium over there. Hopefully there's no fish in there, maybe some baby guppies. Judging from your stocking choice of this bigger six gallon tank, I'm sure you're not mistreating anything because you just have 15 cherries in there. A good start to the scape, 3.9 out of five, keep it up. Bro has broccoli growing in his tank. <laughs> That's crazy, That's funny, yo. Random plants started growing out of the aqua soil. What is it? Bro, you funny. I kind of want to do this now. This looks hilarious. Maybe for April Fool's. Who knows? Maybe. I don't know. Found these two guys on top of building's laundry machine. Free bed of fish. Oh, two guys. There's two of them in there. Oh my goodness. There's floating food and there's sunken food. That's probably the thing to look out for. Like if it's an overfed fish, then you know the owner is screwing up somehow because that's one of the basic ways to take care of your fish. Free bed of fish. We are moving. We can't take them. Feed two times times a day, thank you. It looks like you feed them all the food two times a day, or you feed them 20 times a day. How dare you just put the fish out there and you expect someone to take your responsibility or else the fish die. Maybe that's why there's so much food in there because you thought putting more food will increase the chances of them living. You really don't understand fish at all. You should do like two seconds of research, please. The audacity to just say YOLO, buy fish. If you get taken by someone, good for you. If you don't, you just die in this container and it's a split container. It's the smallest tank. Where are you going to move that you don't have room for this? It's not like it's a proper tank. It's a cricket container split in half with a connect four piece. You need to check yourself. Can anybody help ID this catfish? Why does that look like a lynx, bro? Is that a bobcat? What do we have here? Is someone in danger? I feel this video on a spiritual level, except I'm not a dad yet. I don't know if I'll ever be a dad. This is totally what I would do. I should not be admitting that. Children need exercise too, okay? They have legs. They can walk themselves. You know what can't walk? Beautiful pieces of driftwood that you see while you're walking with your toddler. Those things can't walk by themselves. You gotta take care of them. This is my favorite excuse to tell my fiance. If I saw the wood piece at a pet store, it would cost at least $300. So I'm saving a lot of money right now by not enjoying the walk and instead always looking for free pieces of wood. This dad is a common dad W. Change my mind. You can't. This is a fish. Why? Why? What is this picture? I can't remember why I have this picture. Oh, my bed is one week color transformation from cup to aquarium. That's crazy. That's a whole different beta. Oh my goodness. It just barely has any blue. And then boom, it liked the tank so much, it just showcased its true colors. That tank is beautiful too. It's a nice picture. Also, shorefin bettas for the win. And with that beautiful transformation comes the end of the video. Welcome back to the end of the video, guys. I know it pains some of you to hear that, but unfortunately that's the case. All good things must come to an end sometimes, but fear not, FTRs next Monday right on time. And before that, we have Wednesday uploads, hopefully, I don't forget, and we have Friday uploads. I usually will not forget a Friday upload. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for wanting more fish tank reviews. It really touches me, um, stranger danger, but I appreciate it. Thank you for touching me. Please don't take my quotes out of context, bro. Before I let you guys go, Katua. the question of the week is, what was the last thing you ordered from Amazon? Yes, following the theme of this video, which is packages and getting packages delivered and maybe losing your package, maybe from Amazon. I don't know. Just let me know whatever you ordered last time. Be honest. Go to your Amazon and then just look at the history. What did you order last time? Put it in the comments below. I'll see you guys there. Very curious. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget Get to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rod from Carisiformes to Peratrol. on, hold on. There's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without fur, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.